All right. What do we, we got listener questions that are hot or not? This is good. God, it's gotta be way better than this yep. Honda classic. <laughs> All right, Jeff. This is this is one of my favorite parts of the show. This is uh, this is listener questions, man. Uh, I'm I'm excited about it. We we got a few questions that you've you've had uh, come into play. I've got a couple. Um, so why why don't you kickstart it off? All right, hey, it's rapid fire again. Uh, and you know, I don't even know where these questions come from half the time. I mean, I appreciate people sending them to the inbox. Um, I don't check Instagram as much as I should. Um, I happen to look at it today, and we got three of them. Right. So here here you go. First one. Where would you rather play warm weather golf? Florida, Arizona, or Mexico? Well, I, I'm a I'm a value proposition kind of guy. Okay, I, I'm looking for value for the most part. Arizona's overplayed. Okay, I get it. They're out there in the desert with the snakes and the freaking rattlers. I I could absolutely care less about desert golf. And then you look at Florida and you're like, eh, like I could go to Florida anytime. I mean, why not roll the dice? I mean, the coronavirus is still living well. I mean, on top of the coronavirus, the pandemic, why not hop on a plane and join us in, a, in, in the Aloha Press Retreat? I'm going to Mexico 100% of the time. You know why? It's because they treat you real well, okay? The cocktails are flowing. The gators are strong. And, you know, the, uh, you know, the nightly activities I'm looking forward to are, are you know, in full in full effect in the beautiful third world country in Mexico. How about you, buddy? Uh, I'm, I am. I'm right with you. Cause here's the thing. I'm not, I'm not like a big travel guide to just go play golf. I want to party. I want to hang out. I want nightlife. I want food, drinks, booze, stay up late, Arizona and Florida. You know, it seems to me like those golf trips are more focused around just the golf Mexico. It's the opposite, right? You go to party and hang out and have fun and be at the pool and be at the beach and be in the hot tub. And then you play golf during the day just to do something. So I'm all about it. We're going to Mexico. And this has nothing to do with the Law Press retreat, Cancun, end of April. It has nothing to do with that. I mean, I'd go, I'm going to that, obviously, because I want to. But I'd go to Mexico either way. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a Mexico guy. Well, it, you so, got another I mean, one? You want me to go? No, yeah, I'll go. Let's, let's take Mexico out of it. Okay. Which, which region of the country are you going to? Warm weather golf. Are you going to Arizona or Florida? All right, if you take Mexico out of it, I'm going to Florida just because I've never been there. I want to go play some Florida golf, um, hang out, maybe check out the beaches, Miami Beach, the white sand. Uh, you know, I, I think that might be a little bit better. I've played Arizona golf, um, and you know what? If it's not college football season and I'm not going to get, watch, get to watch the Sun Devils or the, or the Wildcats play against the Ducks, I really don't care to go to Arizona. So th- there's my take. That's I'm with you. I, I, I'm pretty pumped <laughs> up. I've played a little Florida golf. Dude, it's incredible. It's just – the weather, the atmosphere, it's just, it's something different. You know, the humidity, just a little sticky, you know, you're, you know, you're going to get that Bermuda everywhere, which I just, you know, I'm, I'm learning to enjoy. Um, so let's, let's go with this. So with Florida golf on the mind, TPC Sawgrass last week, I mean, would you pay to play at the players championship venue, TPC Sawgrass? It looks like it's going to be 450 bucks in the off season and $600 to play in the, uh, in the prime time, in prime time conditions, Jeff, which, I mean, are you paying it? Are you spending the money? And are you going to TPC Sawgrass? Uh, I'm not, because I, I here's the thing: I don't want to. I don't want to play it in the off season for 450 bucks. I don't. There's plenty of other places I can go and play golf for a lot cheaper. Um, and prime time, yeah, 600 bucks. You know, I, I'm gonna spend that at Pebble Beach. I'm not gonna go play TPC Sawgrass for 600 bucks. It's just not gonna happen. You give me prime time down in Monterey, and you give me that atmosphere, and you give me that you know, surrounding with the ocean and the, the other courses that you can play. Uh, my money's more well spent on the, the Northern California coast than it is over there on the East coast. Well, if I'm spending 600 bucks, I'm going to a major championship venue. Like that's like, yeah, you can, you can, Oh, I played the 17th at Sawgrass. But other than that, like the most memorable holes in golf, like I can't name besides 17 and 18 and 16 at TPC Sawgrass. There are no holes out there that, that won't look any different from a golf course, like literally down the street. And I know there's some history there and stuff, but 600 bucks, 450 bucks. That's a reach. I, I'm going somewhere else. You could, you could put together a fancy golf package somewhere where they've hosted major championships for a lot less, a lot more golf. Um, 
TPC Sawgrass. Sorry, maybe next time. Yeah, TPC Sawgrass is out. All right. What are you looking forward to the most from the Aloha Press in 2021? Oh, well, it, I mean, just the sheer fact that, I, you know, my, my tax lady says, hey, you better make some more money this year, okay? So I'm looking to make some cash. It's, uh, you know, on a serious note, it's, uh, I'm excited about what is in line for us. Like literally in the next week or two, like things are going to change that you have, like things are just, one, the production level is going to just skyrocket. It is going to look better. It's going to feel better. We're, we're not going to like, we're going to still do it on zoom, but it's going to be just the presentations are going to be better. I'm excited about that. Um, and then, you know, just the events. I mean, as, as this pandemic thing goes away, like I expect the Aloha press classic legitimately to have anywhere from hundred to 144 players. And we absolutely take over South Lake Tahoe for an entire weekend. So here, here's the thing. I, I'm looking forward to Mexico more than you could ever know. I, I want to go get in the warm weather. I want to get some sunshine. I want to play golf down there. Uh, but just being in Tahoe this weekend and seeing Edgewood and just thinking about last year and what we're going to have this year, I can't wait. I think it's going to be bigger and better than ever. Uh, we've already got people asking about it, ready for it. Hey, did you go to the Beaver? You know, did you do this? Did you do that? You know, did you eat some dinner at Brooks? Did you hang out? The Aloha Press Classic, it's our first event we ever we ever hosted together. Um, and to do it again and to do it bigger and better, I can't wait. I know everybody else can't wait. I enjoy. I encourage everybody to join in, get on the wait list, get your freaking money in now because it's going to be the real deal. I, I agree with you, Jeff. And another, another question that was proposed to us was, what is the one event in Mexico here in like, dude, if you're not signed up to Aloha Press Golf Retreat, I don't know what's wrong with you. It is going to be absolutely amazing. It is, I, I've been told from people who have visited Cancun, not particularly this resort that we're going to, but just the region, they said it is cleaner than the United States. It is that, that's how freaked out they are. And that's how much the, the actual travel industry has been impacted. But the people want to know, Jeff, what's the one thing that you're looking forward to do that's not golf related? So, hey, I, I'm, I'm an ocean and a beach guy. You know, I'm not scared of Jaws. I'll go get in the water. I, I love being in the water. I love the fact that it's full service. I mean, you sit on the beach, you got your little, you know, your lawn, your lawn chair out there, and they're bringing you buckets of beer. They're bringing you Mai Tai. They're bringing you whatever you want. You know, and if you want to buy chiclets and, and necklaces from the little kids walking on the beach, you can do that too. But, you know, I, like, put me on the beach, man. I don't need a pool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a hot tub. I'm, I'm in the ocean and I'm drinking on the beach all day long. I mean, hey, they take care of the beaches in Mexico at those resorts better than most golf courses take care of their bunker. Okay. It is prime. So that's what I'm looking forward to. It's, I mean, Jeff, Jeff just, Jeff just ran out. He's like a Zach Brown band fucking song right now. Fucking toes in the water, buddy. It's, uh, I love it. It's, uh, hammocks mm -hmm. and all. I'm, I'm looking forward to more of just the actual atmosphere and the experience of a different culture, a different country. That's one of my favorite things is, is to just go and explore a little bit, you know, get in with the people. And, uh, you know, for like seven days, I get to, I get to feel like a real tourist and uh, I'm looking forward to that the most. I I'm just, I hate to say it, but I'm a little sick of the United States and the bitching and moaning. I just want to be around some people that just want me there. That's the one thing I'm looking forward to. Hey, with how good you pronounce the English language, I can't wait to hear you, dude. Your Spanglish, right? Because I know, yes. I know. At some point, you give you a, cu a couple of glasses of wine, a couple of whiskeys, your Spanglish is going to come out, and I don't know if you're going to get punched in the face or you're going to get held up like a king. I don't know what's going to happen out there, but I look forward to it. Hit enough tequila, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll be speaking <laughs> Spanish. That's for damn sure. So, uh, with that being said, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, the listener questions. I think it's our second favorite segment, hot or not. Hot. Or not. <laughs> nah, it's bro. hot or not time. Well, it you know as as the common theme, we've uh, you know we've we've traveled down this uh, this journey with hot or not, and it was one of those things that I was unsure if we were going to be able to continue for much longer. But everyone loves it. Like every every man that's listening to the show absolutely enjoys it. They are sending in requests for us to just tear apart the next victim, and this particular victim. 
she was the first time I've seen her. Like I've, I, I can honestly say I've never seen this particular girl. And uh, we're going to go with the most recent victory. Justin Thomas, you know, chalked up a victory out at the players championship and his, and his girlfriend, Jillian was Winsky was present. Right. There's that English language, baby. <laughs> ready, ready for a hot juicy kiss on the 18th green. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hot or not. Is uh is Wisnowski, uh, is she hot or is she not? <laughs> so hey, I'm the same as you. I, the first time I ever saw her was this Sunday, right? When she's waiting there with his parents, you know, for him to get off 18 and get a kiss. Um, at first, I went the direction that we went with uh, Jordan Spieth's woman Annie. You know, it's like yeah, she's cute, but she's not hot. But I here's the thing I think I think she just dresses a little conservatively, and I think underneath she's hot. I mean, they put her in some like long shorts it really wasn't conducive to the hot or not but i think given the right clothing you know maybe amanda balionis gives her the, the the clothing line that she wears i think she's hot i'm gonna go hot you give me those dirty looks right now i i don't know where you're going with it but i'm going hot i like jt hey he's got his brunette she's a little tan i'm going hot 100 percent. not amanda balionis hot but she's on the hot list not the not so it, if we if we only got to see what Justin Thomas kissed besides his mama uh, after his victory, I would have gone no because, or absolutely not because Ralph Lauren apparently didn't drop his girlfriend from the fucking clothing deal. Cause good God, she, I didn't know shorts were that long in freaking Florida. Like you're, you're a mile from the beach and you've got tan like board shorts on. What, I, I thought, I thought I saw a couple cargo pockets in there. I don't know if she's carrying change around. <laughs> But on top of it, what? Jangles. I mean, yeah, she's got jangles in her pockets. It just, good God. TBC Sawgrass, your boyfriend just won the fucking players, and, and you're walking around like you're just some, like, hillbilly. Um, you know, just, but then, you know, as we do our research and our due diligence, you dive into the Instagram and you dive into the old Google machine, and good God, it, uh, I like the orange top. I'll, I'll just, I'm sure we're going to show a picture here. If you're, if you're listening to the podcast, uh, please go to the YouTube show. We, we include pictures. Jeff, I'm going hot. She is, I, I mean, she needs to be more offensive to the uh, general public and get her uh, Ralph Lawrence uh, clothing deal dropped and get onto that Victoria's Secret because I don't know what was underneath those ugly brown shorts, but I'm assuming it was a thong because good God, she is hot. Well, she needs to take a book out of, Paulina Gretzky and Tori, whatever her last name is, Daniel Berger's woman, because they hey, they know come Sunday, their man's in contention. They're going to be on TV. This girl was not on TV till the kiss at the end of the round. Like she needs to just promote a little bit more, right? Get out there, make it happen. Well, she's she's made it known, and and sure enough, I mean, Justin Thomas, good God, it uh, good for you, buddy. I mean, why why not? I mean. But can you stop having your mom dress your girlfriend, please? Like, I, I mean, get 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 with Daniel Berger's girl, okay, or something. I mean, good God, it. You're in Florida, like it's just. I don't know, Jeff. It. Uh, I almost went not to be honest with you. Like, if you would have, if I would have just seen that picture, <laughs> on 18, I it would have been no. It, that's well, gross. Like, but no. Then you die. Yeah, I, I agree. That, that... Yeah, she, she, she's too conservative. She just needs to step up the game. And I, and I think now, maybe after this big victory, she got a little airtime. Maybe that's coming. Well, fuck, you would think Justin Thomas could afford her, like, I don't know, any type of clothing. He just won $2 million. Like, good God, it's just stop shopping out of your mom's closet. Um, anyway, so that's hot or not. I really hope you guys enjoyed that part of the show. Again, uh, if you if you like our content, please subscribe. Hit the Hit the like button. And, and leave us a comment that tells YouTube's algorithm that we're actually uh, halfway decent. Um, maybe not in the looks department, but uh, with our contents halfway decent. So really appreciate it guys, Jeff. Uh, we will, uh, we'll talk to you here in a couple of days, buddy. Or not. <laughs> nah, bro.